This is Adjuster TV, Adjusters First. Adjuster TV is brought to you by Adjuster TV Plus. How much can you make as a cat property adjuster? This is the $130,000 question, right? And of course the answer always is, it depends, right? It depends on uh, the number one factor is going to be, can you close claims? Can you close those files? Um, because again, like we talked about in the component pay or the fee schedule thing, you're incentivized to be as efficient as possible when you are, uh, the claim pays what it pays no matter what, you wanna be as efficient as possible so that you, if you're gonna make $500, it's better to make $500 in an hour than it is to make it in six hours, right? Because you can do multiples, you can do more $500 claims in a day if you can do them in short, a shorter period of time, right? But you, yeah, the quality absolutely has to be there. You can't be sloppy and be fast and run and gun um, and expect to do well at this at this work. So the you know the best adjusters, the ones that have the most longevity and the, I think the that do the best at this work are the ones who balance their file quality, their customer service, and then how fast they are, right? So to make a lot of money as an adjuster especially as a cat property adjuster, you have to be fast, but you also have to be good and friendly all the time, right? If you can do that on one storm, like especially your first storm, right? And you're gonna ramp up to that being faster and faster. And it's not something that you're gonna be like, I'm gonna do one a day at the very beginning of my first storm, and then I'm gonna do 10 a day at the very end of my first storm. It may be that you do one a day to start, and by the end of that, you're doing three or four a day. And then the starting on your next storm, you're doing three or four a day to start, and then you get up to five or six a day by the end of that storm, and it kind of ramps up over the course of your, like your first year, or first two years, right? But you, but you, the, the limiting factor is always gonna be the quality of the file. If the, the quality of the file starts to drop, then you're going too fast, right? It's, it's, it's a simple, that's a simple way to know. The great thing about this is, is that the insurance companies, in particular the insurance the, the IA firms, the IA firms and the insurance company are both going to notice you if you have a good claim file and, you, and you're closing claims, right? Because they, they, they care about customer service, uh, file accuracy, right? Technical accuracy, which contributes to customer service because if you miss stuff, then it degrades customer service, right? If you're not friendly, it degrades customer service. Um, if you're not very fast, that also degrades customer service because the homeowner's waiting longer. Um, but you have to have all three of those things. And they're gonna notice that, right? And when they do, they're going to say, okay, this is a person um, that seems like they're a resource that we, that we can develop and we wanna hang on to them, right? So that's when they will give you more claims on your first storm or your second storm or your third storm and give you more storms, right? So the key to making six figures or $80,000 or $180,000 or whatever it is, right? More than you could spinning a sign or you know scooping rice at Panda Express. The key is to be more efficient, um, which means maintaining your, your, your overall claim quality, um, but doing it faster, right? And then being really, really friendly and having great customer service. If you can do those things, they will give you more work. More work is where the income the revenue for you comes in because if you only work one storm and you got you did 40 claims in a year i mean they may have been big claims but then maybe they weren't big claims right so you're not gonna you, you hear about people making um eighty thousand dollars or ninety thousand dollars or one hundred and ten thousand dollars in a month on hurricane irma um but that's like once every once a decade that that kind of a storm comes along most likely you're going to be making $8,000, $16,000 in a month on a typical hurricane, right? So if you only run the first 40 claims that they, they give you and you weren't very good at it and, you, and you, you, weren't, you couldn't adapt and get this figured out, then that's all you're gonna get, right? And all the, the preparation and effort that you put into getting into this isn't really gonna be worth it, right? So if you, if you wanna make a lot of money as an adjuster, the reality is, is that you have to be willing to be good, be friendly and be fast, and do it again and again and again and again and again and again and again as long as it takes, right? Um, we talk about burnout. It's a real thing, um, but it's one of those things that when the sun's shining, you got to make hay. And if, if you want to build a career where you're making a, a great amount of money, uh, you have to learn how to 
be a, a really, really good fast adjuster. And the great news about it is that it gets exponentially easier the longer you do it. Truthfully, if you want to watch the rest of this episode where I answer other questions ad-free, as well as get access to a members only segment question and answer, head on over to adjustertvplus.com and become a member right now.